Based on the current level of uncertainty in the global economy, doing certain things right now can hurt your financial well-being. The stock market has been on a downward trajectory year to date, falling over 20%. Inflation has refused to go, and depending on who you ask, we are already in a recession. Moreover, the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates, leading to higher borrowing costs. Meanwhile, sales are falling and companies are announcing hiring freezes and layoffs. As a result, no one knows what happens next to their source of income. With the 22 million jobs lost during the 2008-09 global financial crisis still fresh in our minds, these are indeed scary times. But despite the doom and gloom everywhere, there are a few things you can do to make the situation even worse on a personal level. So, in this video, I'll tell you four things to avoid doing during a financial crisis. 1. Taking your income for granted When it comes to personal finance, income generation is crucial. This is because you need to first have money before you can use it for anything, like investing, paying your bills, or funding the things you are most passionate about. You can imagine your level of anxiety if you ever lose your income at any time, never mind during a financial crisis when things are tougher. So, if you're an employee, make sure you remain valuable or better still, indispensable in your place of work. And if you're an entrepreneur, ensure your business keeps generating a healthy cash flow by focusing on your customers and being competitive. At a time when money is more difficult to come by, taking your income for granted is a highly risky move. 2. Short-term investing With the stock market reflecting the uncertainty in the global economy, investing the money you need in the short term is a surefire way to subject yourself to stress and anxiety. This is because there is a chance that your investment might fall with the market, as has been the case since the beginning of the year, and the fact that you need this money in the short term might make you panic sell, even at a loss. Watching your long-term investment go down in value at any time is difficult, never mind when the money in question is for regular expenses like rent and mortgage or even something unforeseen like a financial emergency. Short-term investing has an element of trying to time the market, which even the most seasoned investors can do consistently for a considerable period of time. 3. Unnecessary debts the rule of thumb is to avoid extra debt or a big purchase during a time of financial uncertainty. With interest rates rising, funding a liability with debt is essentially losing on three fronts. 1. The item you purchase will depreciate over time. 2. The borrowing cost will be much higher than in normal times. And 3. You'll be taking on an extra monthly payment which, depending on your current financial situation, might be a struggle to pay. For an unimportant or a non-urgent purchase, this is an unnecessary financial burden to take on if you want to be in control of your finances. However, if you must take out a loan, make sure you shop around and get the best interest rate possible. Remember, as much as compound interest can make you money, it can also work the other way around if you are the one paying it. 4. Speculative Investments it's refreshing to know that the noise around meme stocks has gone down a bit, no thanks to the fact that investors have either fled the stock market or moved their funds into more quality assets. However, there's still the temptation to think that stocks that are falling by more than 80% are a big bargain. But this can be a huge mistake because these are the stocks that are typically hit hardest by the current macroeconomic factors. In addition, not every stock recovers with the market, and that meme stock with shaky fundamentals might just be one of them. So, a time of economic instability is definitely not the time to make speculative investments, because doing it is like making a big life decision by rolling a die. As far as the global economy is concerned, these are really uncertain times because no one knows what happens next. It's also a time when people tend to panic or make decisions based on their emotions. As you can imagine, this can make an already bad situation worse. As a matter of fact, during a time of economic uncertainty, certain decisions can hurt your financial well-being. Some of them are 1. Taking your income for granted 2. Investing for the short term 3. Taking out unnecessary loans 4. Making speculative investments Finally, 
Remember that your financial circumstance is unique. So, if you are contemplating a big financial decision and you are not sure what to do, don't hesitate to speak to a financial expert. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.